Share the screen. Okay. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for this opportunity to come to join you today for inviting me as well. Um, I do not take anything for granted. And I want to say thank you, sir, Dr. Sophia, and all the organizers of this great event. I want to say thank you. And thank you for our great moderator, um, uh, Madam Soim. So Imini. So Hini, madam. Yeah. So you are. That's a, yes. So thank you so much. I also want to express my gratitude to the uh, faculty of this management, uh, faculty of management of this uh, great uh, university or institution. Thank you so much for allowing all of us to come here and also to share together our knowledge, our wisdom, and our experience. Um, I'll just quickly share my, um, let me see, okay, so that I don't waste much time. All right, so let's dip into it. First of all, I've said thank you for inviting me. I acknowledge and express my gratitude to the organizer of IEM, Department of Management, for this International Faculty Development Program, and Professor Dr. Sopraya, who gave me the opportunity to share my inspirational nugget of wisdom in this platform alongside of the distinguished speakers and trainers and leaders the partners, the educators, the organizers of this masterclass. I also want to thank the participants for your patience and willingness to want to learn from my little wisdom today. I want to say thank you so much. And we're going to be dealing with the curiosity of get better in our career and work life. May God bless you. Okay. Let me first of all, can you see, am I audible? Can you hear my voice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're audible and visible perfectly, Mark. All right. Okay. Because I don't want to waste much time. Um, so International Faculty Develop Development Program, FDP, on work-life balance in Empani, organized by IAM, IEM, Department of Management. So thank you so much. We just move on quickly. Um. One of my uh, greatest um, philosophy is we all need to become a life learner in respect of the professions we we find ourselves. We also need to be a life learner. So these are some of my books that we have written as Yes, You Can Family and they're published and available in various departments, especially www.amazon.com. So, and that is my set to balance between personal and professional work life is what I'm about to share with you this morning. So let's move on to it. When discussing about sustainable development, we also need to talk about paradigm shift that should be observed in leadership. But the question is, what is paradigm shift? So if we want to perform well, if we want to improve ourselves, if we want to make a change, and if we want to stand out in whatever we are doing, even in our various works or profession, we need to start shifting ourselves, shifting the mindset, especially now that we are working towards 2024, we don't want to work as usual. So we want to break loose from our common life of the way we do things. So that is why it is necessary that we need a paradigm shift. We need to have a change in our lifestyle, in our businesses, and even in relationship and our finances. Paradigm shifts occurs when our paradigms changed, allow us to see the world in a new light as we are going towards 2024. Paradigm shifts are part of what Stephen Covid describes in the seven habits of high effective people in that book. Covid presents his ideas about increasing personal and professional success. 
set by co-Stephen COVID, shifting paradigm, shifting paradigm starts from the inside and your actuality depends on your mentality. You believe system determines what you think and the actions you take and changing what you are thinking by developing your mind and your experience are directed from your thinking. Change your racial beliefs to equality beliefs and also impossibility and possibility starts in our mind. Your paradigm shift will give the right content, your concept of change, even in your work life and your personal life. You have to change that you have, you have to change that you socialize with your spirituality and psychology. So these are just a few words that I've learned from Stephen Covey. Let's move on. Curiosity will keep you thirsty for more. And no matter your level of education, you should never stop learning. And Jesus Mama said, and I quote, a thirst for knowledge is something that can never be quenched and should be a lifelong quest. So discover what you are capable of and keep yourself in a growth mindset and keep learning. It's very important. That is why we think we are here. All our dreams can come through if we have the courage to pursue them. And I believe that is why we are here because we want to pursue our courage. We want to pursue our success. We want to pursue our, our, our desire, our purpose. We want to do well and succeed in life. So written by Walt Disney. Okay. So why um, did I start with this? Because mindset is everything. The state of our mind of every individual's, the state of every individual's mind, personalities, governments, influencers, philosophy is needed to change our belief system. So until we learn from the beginning that our mindset is very important, it's everything because our belief system draws from what the information you've stored in your mindset. And our belief systems will dictate how we perform in our workplace, how we perform, how we behave, how we operate, how we become and even lead others, especially our teams. And now we even work with our co-colleagues. It's all going to down on our mindset. Our mindset and our beliefs as well, we also dictate how we perceive ourselves, who you are, your capability, your strength, your weakness, and what you are bringing on the table. And it's also perceived how you, how, it will also dictate how you perceive others, your coworkers, your managers, even those people under you, even the owner, the founder of the organization you work for, even in the education sector. So it all depends on what is in your mind that you believe on. If you believe that that organization you are working for is going to be successful, then you are part of the success of that organization. So it depends. Yes, they employ you. Yes, they are paying for you. But until we see beyond being paid every month, or until we see beyond working according to the policy and the rules and regulations of organization, we cannot do more. So how do we manage the resources also available for us is also very important and it all downs on our mindset. Why am I talking more about this mindset? 
because it's the storehouse of the information. Mindset is everything. Your happiness in lives depends on your mindset. Mindset opens opportunities, but it depends on the state of your mind. It opens learning system. It opens learning opportunity. It also gives you perception and judgment, how you judge others and also how you perform. So you can agree with me that mindset is everything. The most important thing is mindset to transform your life, your relationship, your career, your leadership, even education, entrepreneurship, and employment. You need to renew your mindset daily. Change your mindset because mindset is everything. To be successful in life, you've got to constantly renew your mindset. A mindset will be based on what you've seen, what you hear, what you are listening to, the association you've surrounded yourself, and your network. Can I also say this, that your network will determine your net worth. Action is built on your mindset. A changed mindset will improve our performances and having better choice to change a life. Yes, we are discussing here about how we can balance the workforce with your personalities. Or let me put it this way. How can you balance your personal lives with your professionalism? It's all going to start with your mindset. And that is why it is very important that we look into our mindset, protect our mindset, be mindful of what you feed yourself. Because if you already have a mindset of a negativity, you cannot perform well at work. And believe it or not, the life is full of chaos. It's full of negativity. It's full of challenges. It's full of obstacles. But if your mindset is just limited to that lie, you cannot perform well. It will affect your personal life and it will also affect your professionalism. And that is why it is very important. Let's just see what other people say about this mindset. Stephen Maribo said that when your mindset changes, everything and everyone around you will change. You don't need to change others, but you can change yourself, how you perform, how you are doing well in your working place. When you do right, people will watch you and learn from you. When you do something right and stand out and distinguish yourself and be the change in that organization and even in that your school, you will see that you will influence others. That is why it is so important. The mind is the limit as long as the mind can envision the fact that you can do something, you can do it. As long as you really believe 100% said by Anon Schwarzenegger. Limitation lies only in your mind. But if we use our imagination, our possibilities become limitless. And that is Jamie Paulenity. And if you change, like I said, the way you look at things, it might be hard, it might be difficult, but if you change and shift your mindset, you will see the things you look at will change. So even when things are very challenging in our working place, even in schools, with our teachers, our students, our managers, uh, our administrators, the founder of the schools, the government policy, everything. But if you shift your mindset and you will see the possibilities of learning, the opportunity to learn, and you will see the opportunities to get better. And that is what all my great 
contributors have said in this place. Okay, think outside the box. It's not normal anymore between me and you. We have COVID that just roll out, that affected the whole world. And we don't do things as usual. Yes, there will be slightly, or I might say big or massive changes in school sector, in our organization, institution, and even in our lifestyle. But then if we start thinking outside the box and come out of that comfort zone of doing things as usual, then we can overcome no matter the challenges that face us as a worker. Oxford English University, I mean, Oxford English Dictionary defines mindset as a way of thinking, an attitude or opinion, especially an habitual one. So how you are thinking whenever you wake up in the morning to want to go to work, what is the state of your mind? Because that will determine for the rest of the day how you are going to perform, how you are going to judge the situation, and how you are going to perceive yourself and perceive others and in the workload that you have. If you already said to yourself, oh, I'm too tired. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, I am. I mean, it's just too much. It's overwhelming. When you keep saying that, it drags you. It limits you, it limits you. And sometimes you can perform well. So from the following definition and views about mindset, we can see and understand that the role of our mindset plays in our lives, both personal and professional. Majority of people all over the world are stagnated because of their mindset. So what's the state of your mind? Why is it so important? And these are the things that I am sharing with you this afternoon or this morning. People have lost a big opportunities just because of this mindset. People have even lost so many money. They've lost their own respect and dignity just because of their mindset. People have lost favors because of their mindset. Many people have lost important connections just because of this mindset. People have gained favors in the other way around. They've gained favors, connections, they've think outside the box and they've connected with several people all over the world. Why? Because of their state of their mind. So the power of a changed and positive mindset can never be neglected. So let's move on. So let me ask you a few questions. Are you comfortable the way you are currently, the way you are performing, the way you are doing things, the way you are operating as a worker, as a leader, a manager, a lecturer, a teacher, even as a student, are you comfortable? Are you happy about the event that is reoccurring all the time? Because you cannot stop the condition. The condition is only permanent. I mean, it's only temporary. They will wait away. The conditions that rise at any time is for you to gain, to learn from it, to gain from it, and to make yourself better to learn wisdom, to gain knowledge, to come out of your comfort zone and think outside the box. So are you happy with, with the events occurring? Because we are still trying to grow every day. Just as we are growing, the way we are now, personally, is not the way we were 10 years ago. The same thing happened. So if you want to grow, you have to face the challenges of life. And you say that the mindset you have currently maybe have held you onto for a long and have affected your life and even your performances and even in the society. 
positively? What if the mindset you have right now have separated you from dear friends, colleagues, and denied you of precious favors and opportunities? Have you been a major barrier to your own success, your own happiness, your own development, your own self-fulfillment? Will you say that your mindset has and is attracting the right people, the right client, the right customers, the right stupidest puppets, or even the right attitude of yours? Can you say that? Does it attract others? What you are teaching? Can people learn from it? Is your life presenting you well? These are the things that we need to be asking. When you go to working place and working with others, can you say that the other cold colleagues can learn from you? Can you say you have given them the positive attitude where they can also be influenced and be inspired and be motivated? Growth mindset We get you to be committed to learning and improve. We always make them to know life and learning is a process. Growth mindset again. We allow you to grow big, push the boundary of your ideas to a new level, especially as a worker, especially as a professional, especially as a teacher, a lecturer. The difference between the good and the bad results is often come to one thing, mindset. So you can see how important it is for our mindset to be right and to update and grow and refresh and review our mindset. But negative mindset, we make decision to stand still instead of advancing your skills, knowledge, and career. But positive mindset sees failures as an opportunity to learn more and advance rather than evidence of failure. But I have a good news for you this afternoon or this morning. Yours, you can unshackle yourself from negativity and make more positive choices. I know this morning we are talking about how do we balance our work life? How do we balance our personalities, our personal lives with our professions? And I can guarantee you that even with this knowledge I'm sharing today, you will know that it all depends on your mindset. And you can unshackle yourself from negativity and make more positive. Do you know that when you have a negative mindset, you will go to work as usual. You will not think the way successful people are thinking. You will think, oh, well, at the end of the month, I'll get my salary anyway. Or you will just say, I'm just going to do what I'm doing. Just basic according to the policy of the organization. But if you have a positive mindset, you want to see the success of your organization. You want to see progress. You want to see your, your, your organization, your institution moving forward. You will even be happy and be satisfied with yourself if you stay positive because it will drive you forward. Negative mindset will drag you backward. So what, which one will you choose? Will you choose to go to work on you as usual? Or do you go to work with the moment, with the attitude of, I want to contribute to the growth of that organization. I want to impact lives. I want to touch lives. I want to be an example. I want to distinguish myself. I want to stand out. These are the energy from possibility. So start developing your skills and enhancing 
your ability through education, right? There are fix, I won't go on to this, but one thing that Carol Dweck says that these two mindset of fixed mindset and growth mindset can significantly affect your life, your career, satisfaction, can affect your, your pro, uh, operation, can affect your performances, and even the way you relate with others at work. So how do we improve that mindset? Focus on improving your language from negative to positive and practice speaking positively about the situation you find yourself. If everything is too hard, especially at this time, I'm not expecting anybody to say things are all right. I'm not because we are all into it. Things have changed after the COVID. How we operate is different now. Now, majority of us have to use the, the in technology to do whatever we are doing. And millions of times that we have to spend in front of this box of this computer. And sometimes we miss out from social lives because we have to get the work done. But then if we say to ourselves that no matter the challenges and obstacles we are facing, we can come out stronger, better, wiser, and we can perform well. That is the way to go. And that is why I say improve your language, what you are saying to yourself and what you are saying to others at work and what you are also saying about the situation in your workplace. So better, become a better communicator. When you speak positive at work, you not only help yourself, you are helping your colleagues. So when things are tough, you can inspire and motivate and encourage yourself and also encourage others. You need to ask questions. Why is this thing happening this way? Because the more you ask questions, the more you are curious about it. And the more you know, and better you know. Avoid overthinking, but ask questions. Surround yourself with positive and like-minded people. Oh yes, some of the people can put you down, discourage you. But then some people can lift you up and inspire you and bring the leaders out of you. So you need to watch out for those people that we reason with you, that you can work together, reason together. You can ask questions. You can learn from them. They can learn from you. So surround yourself with those people. Remember, there's a statement that says, your network will determine your net worth. The surrounded people, uh, the people that surround you will determine how you will go far and how you will succeed and how you perform even in your workplace. So when you've already treat yourself, embrace yourself, develop yourself, develop these necessary skills that you need to develop, then it will attract the other people that you can walk around with. So it's all going to deal with personal development. So focus on your health as well, because if you look good, feel good, then you can perform well. So take good care of your health. Take care of your family. Because the state, you've left your family in the morning to go to work matters. It can affect your performance a whole day at work. Practice, practice, and understand what peace is all about. Let peace be unto you so that while you are performing at work, you have peace of mind and you are happy and you are enjoying what you are doing. So mindset determines how you interpret and how you respond to situations in your work life. And if your personality is being dealt with, then your professionalism will be better. 
Okay. Now I have some questions again. Personal assessment. Remember, I keep combining, we are combining both the personal lives and the develop and your professional uh, lives. How have you increased your skills, knowledge, abilities, or income in the past few months? How have you been increased in these areas? Because if you are well trained, then you will be able to present what you have or what you've learned. You will be able to implement it. So how well have you increased that skills, that knowledge? And that is why I keep on saying that learning is lifelong. You need to keep learning to become better. Then the other question is, do you really expect to be successful in whatever you are doing, given how you are doing right now, uh, how you are using the resources, and even how you are using your skills? All of us need to expect greatness, expect satisfaction, expect fulfillment, and that's why I'm asking you that questions today. The next question is, do you realize that you need a good change in any areas of your success in business, in your workplace, in your relationship, in finance and in life? Do you expect, do you realize it? Can you see changes? Can you observe that? How are you responding to those changes? that is happening in your workplace, that is happening with your colleagues, that is happening with the management of your organization? Are you spending time with people who can enhance and enrich your life? Because you cannot be alone. You cannot succeed alone. You need people around you, people that draws from your knowledge, and people you to draw from their knowledge and wisdom. So how far are you going? Do you have mentors? Because that is very important. You need a mentor in your life. No matter how successful you've been, no matter how long you've been working in this sector, you still need a mentor. Because some have been where you just gone. People, some have been where you were now. They've gone far. They've learned from tough time, tough life. They've gone through the tough road, the rough road. So you need to look for those people and learn from them. And at the same time, you need to put yourself in a position where others as well can learn from you. So the way you perform will reflect. What you are doing will reflect others. So are they gaining from you or they are just seeing you as just a figure? Are you bringing solution to your workplace or you are just there to work? Are you seeing better picture of where you are, where you are working, people you are working with? Are you seeing the future? Are you seeing the greatness? It's very important. And that is why you need a coach and a mentor. So all of us, you, we can look for a mentor. I mentors the youth all over. And I also mentor some of our younger ones. I mean, the youth, the children, and even the women. So you need to find somebody that can help you in your lives or in your journey of lives. The state of your mindset will determine what you see. The obstacles or the opportunities right where you are in your professionalism. Your faith or your fear. Ignorance or gain knowledge. Failure or success. Weakness or strength. Threats or opportunities. Negative or positive. It all depends on the state of your mindset. 
So according to Google, success is your ability to reach your goals in life as individual. It is the ability to achieve personal and professional life goals that matters to you. Success is to fulfill your purpose in life and be happy. And to be successful in life is to achieve your desires, your dreams, and your vision, and even your purpose. A successful person is a person who is capable of making critical, bold decisions to reach his or her desired goals. Very important. So far, I've spent 30 minutes in just telling you more about mindset. But it's not only mindset that I want to discuss with you today. Mindset is just the beginning, but we need to move on. And I've also touched on success so that you can see that every one of us, two things we want to do in life. We want to succeed and we also want to fulfill. So that is why it's very important. So let me talk a little bit about success. And I will start with this statement. So formula, success formula. We all had a dream. Every one of us must have a vision. Every one of us must have a why. Why do you want to become what you want to be? Who do you want to become? Why do you want to do what you are doing? Why do you apply for that job that you are doing right now? Why are you working in that situation? So, but we have a dream behind it. We all have a goal. And then we have a goal because you need to set a goal for yourself first before you even go to work to reach out and also learn these goals being set for that organization. You also need to have a personal goal. Then you need to plan yourself how do you want to perform? How do you want to bring new ideas to the table to move or to progress for yourself and also for the organization you are working for? Then action. You need to take action based on what you've planned for yourself, for your personal life, and also for your professionalism. Because if you don't set a goal, believe me or not, it will, you will come to your crossroad of life, of your performances, and you won't know which way to go, either left or right. You could be stuck there. But if you have set a goal for yourself, and also what I mean, look for the goals of the, the goals and objective being set by your organization, then that would be like a road map. So that if you are trying to miss the guidance or miss the road or miss the direction, you can go back to the goals that you have set for yourself and the one for your organization and even the one that you yourself set for your organization or for your team. And then you take action and then you work together in order to achieve that goal. Let that be the Long term, that I've set the goal, I need to achieve the goal. How am I going to achieve that goal? Not only that, how am I going to be sustained? Or how am I going to be sustained? So, how, can, how am I going to sustain in these goals that I have, I have achieved? Because it's not only just achieve, it has to be ongoing. Once, once the set, the one you've set for yourself, you've achieved that one, you need to plan another so that you keep going. We keep going. We keep going. And that's what we call sustainable development. Okay. Let me also change my gear to this acronym of success. We're going to deal with it briefly because there's no time for me to elaborate it much. If you have gained so much from what I have said today, remember, mindset is everything. 
you have two types of mindset, fixed mindset and growth mindset, and also positive mindset and negative mindset. And your beliefs will be drawn from what you are thinking. And what you believe is what you will act on. And what you act on will become your habit. And your habit will become your lifestyle. So remember that. That is just a summary of the first section that I have said so far. Now we want to talk about another section of success. So we are going to say much about the self-assessment. Remember, we are talking about how do you balance your personal lives with your professionalism? How do you balance your workload? It depends on you yourself, how well you are preparing yourself to that assignment, to that workplace. So S stands for self-assessment. U stands for you, myself and you. C stands for commitment. C stands for consistent. E stands for empower and keep learning. It's education. And then S stands for sustainable. We might not elaborate it much on this, but just bear in mind that this is very important in lives if you want to succeed. So let me quickly move on. Self-assessment. Under this self-assessment, you need to start thinking. Yes, I'm working. I'm a personal individual. Who am I? Where is my strength? So you need to analyze your self-assessment through SWOT analysis. We have S for strength, W for weakness, O for opportunities, and T for traits. So you need to assess who you are. You need to assess your ability, your strength. You need to assess your weakness, what you can do most that can make you stand out your uniqueness, your USB, as they say. And then you need to also observe your weakness. I'm not saying you have to dwell with it, but you need to know about it. Because while you are focusing on your strength, your strength can overcome your weakness. Or let's put it this way. You, have, you are strong in dealing with management. And maybe you are not good in administration. So you can focus more on your strength. And then you can still develop your weakness. Remember, as a manager, there's something that is so common in organization. They call it, I mean, you know, they don't know when they give you feedbacks, they will tell you about what you've done so well. And then they won't just tell you, oh, you are bad in this, or you are not good in this. No, they have a way to say, a place of improvement. So they are telling you that you are very good in this area. And then they are telling you that there is more for improvement, or there is more to, for you to develop. The same as this one as well. And then your strength can draw in your opportunities, but your weakness sometimes can lead to threat because there are competitors out there. There are so many people that can do better and then you need to learn from them for you to improve and get better for yourself. That is the way to balance between your personal life and professional. That's my own opinion. Because if you know yourself, you know your ability, your strength, then you will be able to work effectively in that area. And then when you now need to look at the areas that you are weak on, then you'll be able to develop that. And then there'll be less stress. 
and less frustration. So what do you want to achieve in life? You are working in that place. You need to think, what do I want to achieve from this working place? Let your answers here be beyond, I just want to be paid. Sorry, it's not payment. Before you get paid, it will be ending of the month. So you want all your hopes to wait and stand still till the ending of the month? Oh, no. You want to learn from your mistakes. You want to learn from others. You want to associate and collaborate and partners and work together with a team. You want to bring solutions to the table. And you want to solve somebody's problem. So these are more than just getting a salary. When your mind is stayed on that, believe me, it's a guarantee of a good performance. Then who are you? I've said that before. I won't deal with it much. And what are the principles of discovering in your pursuing of success? So these are the answers. that need, These are the questions that need answers. I've talked to you about the SWOT analysis. You can just screen screenshot this if you haven't got it, or you can Google it and start listening. Listening all your strengths, your weakness, and other things like that. The aims. It is important that we answer these questions bearing in mind of these aims also. It will bring awareness. It will also make you in a state of responsibility. So you will know when to take responsible for whatever you need to do. It will also give you self-beliefs and also blame-free. You don't need to blame any other person for what is happening, but make the time to improve yourself. It can also bring solution and also face challenges and overcoming it, taking actions, even celebrate the victory the success of yourself and others. Then recognize those goodies, those good things that you've done and recognize also others and appreciate them and celebrate them. Develop. You need to develop more skills to enhance your performances and you need to engage with others. You need to work effectively with your team. So who you are define your purpose, as Dr. Julie Cannon stated. A personal purpose statement define who you are. It reflects your passion and your value. Remember what I've said right from the beginning. It's very important if we want to balance our work life. If you want to balance your work life with even your own life. You need to know this. So a personal purpose statement defines who you are. It reflects your passion and value. You have value and you need to add value to yourself and add value to the people around you. It provides clarity as you set goals. Remember about the set goals I told you about? Purpose is the reason for which something is done or created which something exists and intends to do something or attend to a tax or assignment given. Another word for purpose is your aims, your desire, your dreams, your visions, your goals, your intentions. Few important questions to ask yourself if you want to know who you are. And you are the only one that can answer this. Who am I? What's my purpose? Why am I created? What's my strength and my weakness? Who am I? Why am I doing what I'm doing? Why am I here on earth? What is my assignment? What do I want to put on the table? What questions do I want to answer? And what, what problems do I want to solve? Very important. The reason why I asked this question before we dive into it it's just for us to know ourselves better. 
so that in any situation you find yourself in the workplace, you'll be able to perform well because you know your why you are there. You know the reason why you are working in the place. You know the reason why you want to, why you're doing what you are doing, the careers you are developing, the skills you are building. You want to know the reason. You need to know the reason because that is the strength, the force behind the operation or the performance. The benefit of knowing who you are and our purpose gives us the confidence and energy to perform well in the society, in our workplace, and build our high esteem. We need to appreciate ourselves, love ourselves, and be happy. Because once you are happy, once you develop yourself and love and enjoy what you are doing, believe me, you will perform well. And as a woman and as a man, there's need to come with me in the journey of this discovery is very, very important. I won't go through all this. I just want to move quickly, quickly. How do you review or find your purpose? Because we all have purpose. I know you have to make sure that your purpose is in line or whatever you are doing, the job you are doing, the business you are doing, your career, your studies have to be in line of your purpose, the hints, donate time, money and resources and talent and give and help others. While you are doing that, the work of humanity, the voluntary work, helping others, encouraging others, inspiring others, motivating others, you will find your purpose in that way. Welcome feedbacks. Some of us might not like that, but critical and constructive feedbacks will help you to learn more, to develop yourself and perform well. Surround yourself with positive and like-minded people. Don't be afraid to start a conversation or ask questions with your managers. Don't just take their words for it. Even your policy and, pro and pro procedures don't just take it like that. See beyond. Remember I said right from the beginning, think outside the box. They say, yes, this is their policy. Think and bring your own and contribute to the growth of your organization. You might be the reason why they have to rewrite their, their policy. You might be the reason why they have to rewrite their curriculums. You might be the reason why they have to change some things in the, in the organization. You might even be the one that will make the law to be changed. Make yourself resourceful and valuable to the society. Employ your gifts. There are so many gifts in, inside of every one of us that we can develop, discover, develop, and also demonstrate it in your workplace. It makes it better, excitement, and also enjoyable. And research, follow your heart and stand for justice. Discover what you love to do and do it well. And find a problem to solve, even in your workplace. When you put yourself in that position, you will live life stress less because you are contributing to the progress. You are contributing to the success. You are contributing to the economy and the growth and the sustainable development of the organization and even in your society. So I won't go on this. I think I've done that already. Purpose, well, your purpose does not necessarily mean you have to change what you are doing right now, but it's alongside of your purpose. Then we go into commitment. Like I said, I won't be able to talk more, but the question I have for you, how do you understand 
What do you understand about commitment? You need to research that. Because once you understand it, then you will have the attitude of committing to what you have signed for. The contracts that you have signed for. You'll be committed to the tax being assigned to you when you understand what commitment is. Consistent as well. What you consistently do in every day, we become better because no one is perfect. But when we keep learning and learning and learning every day, we become better in our performances. We become better in how we treat people. We become better in how we relate. We become better even in our lifestyle. Empower and educate yourself. What do you understand about being empowered or being educated? You need to know how about that. Sustainable. What do you understand about sustainable or st sustainable development? Because that is a goal that we need to attain. You don't want to start still. You don't want to achieve one thing and say, okay, that is it. No, it's ongoing. Success is ongoing. Fulfilling is ongoing. So you need to be sustaining yourself. The level you are now shouldn't be the same level next year. The way you are performing now, it shouldn't be the same way you will perform in 2024. So how do you achieve this goal then? About mention that we have mentioned, how do you achieve it? You need to also seek for answer for that. You build confidence through pain and experience. Persistent is different than pushing to be the best. You get started before you get great sloppy success and beat perfect mediocrity every time. So let me quickly share with you in two or I mean five minutes because I have only seven minutes to go. This of winning attitude to success, dream, decision making, discover, design goals or set goals, develop new skills. You can't use one skills to succeed. You have to de develop more skills to enhance your performances. Determine, no matter the situation, no matter the obstacles, no matter the challenges. Let me also tell you that every situation is for a moment. It doesn't stay long. No condition is permanent. So that's why you need to determine that this of one, I will overcome it and I will pass on and I will progress and I will move on. Let me also say something about this determination. If you cannot fly, you can run. If you cannot run, you can walk. And if you can't walk, you can crawl. But the most important thing is keep moving and never stop, never give up, never lose hope and don't quit. Diligence is very important and discipline yourself, discipline your life, discipline your time, manage your time, discipline your emotions, manage your emotions, discipline the way you are going to carry out your work life, your work, your tax daily. Set up a plan. Plan for the day. Very, very important. I think if I want to move on, I'll be here forever. Dream. What is your aspiration, your dream, your purpose, your vision, your mission, your assignment? This will determine your why you are doing what you are doing right now. And if you are in a wrong job, then you need to change. What is your why? Know your why and know how to achieve and become and succeed. Decision making. You have a choice. You have the ability to make that decision. All decision is right decision. But you will make take responsibility and accountable of your decision. 
Always ensure you assess the situation. Know the SWOT analysis, the pros and cons, the positive and the negative of your situation. Like I said, determination, discipline, uh, make a quality decision. Failure is the sign that you made an attempt. You can learn and try it again until you win and achieve. There is no right nor wrong in decision making. You just have to take responsibility of your decision. Education is the key to success, freedom, and future. So keep learning, for learning is living, and it is a life song. Permit me to stop Ria. I won't be able to move on. I have a lot today, but I would like to stop here. So on this occasion, I want to express my gratitude to Dr. Saprata and also all our great organizer from the department for inviting me to share my inspirational nugget of wisdom. And I also want to say thank you to all our great learners and leaders on this platform for giving me the chance to share with you this afternoon or this evening or this morning. Thank you so much. My name is Dr. Elizabeth Lucas Afolalu, the founder of Yes You Can International. And I will say to you all, yes, you can achieve. Yes, you can succeed. Yes, you can become. Yes, you can overcome all the challenges of life. And yes, you can complete your journey no matter how rough it is. And yes, you can be a pioneer and champion and even a great leader in your organization. Thank you so much. May God bless you all. Thank you so much, uh, revered Ma for your wonderful deliberation on uh, the sixth day of DP, the first day on work life balance in a bunny era. It was, it is always a pleasure and a lot of learning uh, that I have uh, from all of your sessions. Uh, it's indeed our humble pleasure to have you. And uh, this is a small token of appreciation, uh, which I already shared with you uh, from our end. Uh, so thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Professor Nada, it's good to see you on this platform. Hey, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Greetings. Thank you. Dr. Sama Pika, thank you so much. It's good to see you all, Dr. Deepa, Deepa Braxa, and every other great leaders on this platform. It's good to see you all. Thank so, you. So next, next thank session. you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, Professor Nada Ratkovic is already there. Thank you.